Hello, everyone. If you can hear me, just give me a little yes in the chat. <laughs> cool. It's okay, great guys. I'm just still setting up all the settings, so I'm just getting used to everything. So don't hate me if if uh, something's not right. Still learning everything here. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, Mr. Blob. Yeah, I'll go ahead and give you mod now. Thanks, Devin. Uh, Mr. Blob, I don't know how to go ahead and do that, so we're going to have to figure that out after this stream, and we'll go ahead and actually add you to to the mod list. Cool. Well, guys, what I was thinking is for this stream, I think what we go ahead and try and build the fastest boat that we can in Stormworks using the new jet engines. What does everyone think? Thanks, Freddy. Appreciate it. Cool, hopefully everyone can see the game. Yeah, great. Could I explain the RPS limiter for diesel and aircraft engine? Yeah, uh, of course I can. So <laughs> with the update that came out yesterday, uh, as I said, they've gone ahead and limited the engines. So for example, you have, let's go ahead and just put this down here. Um, so say for example, your diesel engine, your diesel engine itself, if you go ahead and select on it, you have your RPS limiter here. So you can limit the amount of, of rotations per second that come out of the engine itself. Now, for example, if you were to go ahead and add a lever to it, that would then control the engine. It won't control the rotations of the engine itself. It controls the throttle. So the throttle is between zero and one, and obviously for electric engines, between minus one and one. Uh, so if you were to go ahead and obviously connect that up, control the throttle, you're not controlling the throttle, you're not controlling the rotations per second. So which means you can then go ahead and limit the rotations to 100, for example. So for example, if you had this connected and you set this to full one, that's not the rotations per second that you affect you you setting. You're just setting the throttle of the engine. So in theory, that if you were on say 20% of this throttle, your RPS could already be at 100. So that they, they, that pretty much means that there's no difference. Anything over that 20% on your lever now is not going to make a difference to the RPS of this engine. Uh, so that's that's where it comes in, into into effect really. Oh, Ollie. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's it. That's pretty much the basics of the RPS limiter itself. Um, I'm not going to get into any more detail of that. We'll go ahead, start a new creation, and then we'll start actually building our boat up. Now, it's going to be a little bit similar to the boat that we actually used for 
uh, what's the name for the tutorial that I did. Uh, very similar to that, um, but however, this time we instead of using aircraft engines, we'll go ahead and actually um, actually put jet engines on this and see if we can get it to the fastest possible boat that we can get. <laughs> Lock heading, please. Uh, I will be Ferris. I will be doing a tutorial on a full autopilot um, coming up very soon in the next couple of days. Uh, so that will be coming. Can you put multiple combustion chambers in a jet engine? Um, I haven't tried personally. Uh, we can obviously go ahead and try sometime maybe during the stream uh, and just doing a little bit of testing. Uh, but first off, what I think we're going to do is actually start just building up the boat itself uh, and then we'll go from there. So first off, as always, enable the X-Plane guys. I'll start building our boat up. Uh, can you get this on Xbox? I'm not too sure. I don't think so. I think it's only PC at the moment. Um, also, can you use a PID for diesel aircraft engines? Because I tried last night, I'm not getting the results I was expecting. Um, what do you mean, a PID? What a PID to control the throttle itself? <laughs> boat jet, jet boat. <laughs> uh, set point to the throttle and RPS to the variable. Yes, that's correct. I uh, hope they add to the adds engine system. That'll be cool. Um, cool. Yeah, that's pretty much the settings, Freddy. Um, so it's going to be so the thrust is going to come directly from the um, jet engine itself we're not going to add any propellers or anything like that to to this boat uh, but we'll obviously see as we get on uh will it be as detailed as my saw boat on the workshop uh no because that took about two two full weeks worth of of building to get it to that level uh and i'm not doing a two week straight uh stream uh but i'll try and get this i'll try and get this as detailed and hopefully as impressive as we can uh during the stream itself but the the basics as how i always build any of my creations is to actually just get it to get it to operate and work first. Once I have that and I have the basic design of of whatever I'm building done, that's when I start actually changing things, adding things uh, and moving things around in, in the actual creation itself. Um, so that takes a lot of time. And then then after after that, it's all about just going ahead and actually just doing detailing. So at the moment, you can see I'm, I'm deleting a whole bunch of things. So I wasn't happy. With, it was a little too skinny for myself. Uh, and that's pretty much the basics is you just have to constantly go ahead and change things around until you get it to how you, how you actually like. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll get it working and then we can start actually doing a little bit of customization to, to the actual uh boat itself and we'll start adding new new features on a 
jet engine sub next stream. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll get to that at some point, I think. My jets keep cutting out. Um, yeah, we'll, I'm not too sure. Obviously, we'll, we'll build up ours and we'll see how we get it working. Um, I might go ahead and upload it. I think I, I'm not too sure how YouTube works. Uh, as I'm still figuring out how the whole streaming thing works. So it might automatically save it so you can go ahead and watch it. Uh, but if it doesn't, then yeah, I probably will go ahead and upload it uh, if I can. Yeah, uh, this is my first stream, Beautiful Bird. Uh, so welcome. Put a small boat engine as well. Um, We'll see how we get on with the jet engine, see if we can get that working completely, uh, and then see if we can actually not have any engines besides the jet engine and the boat itself. <laughs> it shows me how dedicated I am to building boats. Uh, I like building everything. Uh, if you go and look at my workshop, I've got boats, I have uh, helicopters, trucks, pretty much anything I like and I'm interested in, I'll go ahead and build it. Uh, yeah, it only saves, yes, that's correct. Um, what do I use to record? I'm using today for the first time, I'm using Streamlabs. Um, so I think it was Fr Frantic or Stormrunner suggested it. So I'm checking that out and just using it up. Yeah, hey, Smelly. Okay, sorry. So we'll get back on to actually building up here. Um, sorry, I'm guys, I'm trying to read the chat, uh, which I have on another screen to my side. And then I'm also trying to build. So. We might be a little bit slow in comparison to uh, the speed build we did the other day. Uh, have you fixed your NH90 yet? No, I'm still getting around to to fixing all my creations. Uh, that was loud. Uh, I don't know what I think that was a sub. Um, so yeah, I'm still getting around to actually going ahead and doing all that. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how how it all works out. Uh, Luna Sakara, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, as I said, I was, sorry, I was working on the Chinook earlier today uh, and trying to get that working. Um, it's just taking a little bit longer than expected, really, to get all the creations pulled up. Snowman2, thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. Okay, so let's carry on just building up our boat here. Now, most of you that probably see my videos probably going, hey, this is exactly the same boat as the one we did in our speed um, speed build and probably the same boat we've done in our tutorials. Uh, it is very similar, but you'll see when we start actually building up the hull, you'll see it's going to be a little bit different. I'm just going to continue build this. Uh, Hi right, Tom, hey, thank you for the sub, much appreciated. Okay, so we're just finishing up our bow of the ship itself. So now we probably can start looking the length i'm pretty happy with that uh we'll obviously have to see how it floats we might have to change a couple things around make it a little wider so on and so forth uh but we'll just see how it gets on and we'll go from go from there i think uh so first things first i'm just going to finish building this up jump to the front channel I'm just going to finish the front part here and then we'll see if we can go ahead and spawn this and see how it sits in the water but before we do that I'll catch up with the chats um what am I building ah frantix here hello um what are we building we are building a jet powered boat today trying to make the fastest boat that we can here in stormworks obviously with new jet engines that have been released um, I was to, i'm streaming through youtube cool 
cool, Devin. Thanks, man. Has a spelling error. Uh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 have to, I'll go ahead and double check that then. Uh, I'm so bad at designing boats. Teach me farther. <laughs> well, have a look at what I'm doing now. Um, what do you think about the dev supporting you by naming a location after you? Uh, yeah, it was really cool. I didn't know they were going to do that. Um, as you saw, like in in the video itself, I was completely unaware, and I thought maybe at first I thought that it had taken whatever your player name was in game and actually named locations after you. Uh, but then as soon as I finished that video, I got off and got a couple of messages from everyone saying, "Hey, you're in the game," uh, and the devs were like, "Yeah." cool you know thanks you've done a lot of work xyz with videos and obviously workshop shops and stuff like that um so that was really cool of them so i really appreciated that um can you just build a small ship in advanced mode or can i build a small ship in advanced mode yeah you can uh hey frantic da, da, da. okay cool cool tom um it's 12 p.m for me oh sorry man Uh, Hydrofoil, Luna. Um, so at the moment, Hydrofoil is a little bit of a touchy subject. Now, the reason why they're a little bit of a touchy subject is that beforehand, you actually didn't have to connect up the props to the engine. So you could, for example, uh, raise and lower your Hydrofoils as you wanted. Um, whereas now, you actually have to use pipes uh, to connect... <clears throat> The engines as you probably know so to actually make a proper working hard fill is a little bit more difficult in comparison to how it used to be uh, and it used to be very difficult to start off with um so hence the reason why not many people have done hydrofills i've done a like a kind of sort of hydrofill where we do in our speed challenge uh where we just added our fins underneath here just to control the actual angle of the boat but we actually didn't lift the boat itself out of the water you can do that uh, and there's different ways of doing it but uh, i'm not going to get into it in this tutorial freddie hey josie i made advance i'm using tutorial as a guide uh could you maybe check it out and give me some dust yeah sure um post on the workshop and then send me a link in uh in my discord server and i'll have a look for you definitely Uh, at some point, can you sh tell us how to edit and create bases? Uh, yeah, I also do have a, Dave, I do have a video planned for that um, to do a full explanation of the mission editor and how to use it. Um, so that will that will be coming up in, in a future video. Uh, I have a long list of things that to do. Um, Faris, yes, I do have a Discord server. It's a link in the description below. Okay, so let's go ahead and just spawn the boat in and see how it sits in the water. Mm, it's a little bit tall for my personal liking and a little bit small. I think we're just going to edit that a bit, guys, and uh, let's see how we get out. It's a little bit small and a little bit, a little bit too narrow. I want it to get a little bit wider. So what I'm going to do... Hmm, let's go ahead and just delete... Leads a whole bunch of blocks here, and then we'll just uh, extend it out. And by doing that, I'm just going to use a selection grid, hopefully, and we should be able to just create a complete parting down the center of it. Go ahead and just select that, select that, bring it up, bring it across, and that should be half our boat. Yep, so I'm just going to cut that, move it across. Okay, how wide do we want it? I think about about that. I think should be fine. Uh, that looks quite wide. Cool. So I'll paste that down, um, and then what we'll do is we'll see if we have to just move our line itself. Let's get rid of that, and then we can just move this to the center. Cool. 
So that's fine, happy with that. And now we can go ahead and just actually start filling this out now. And don't forget to just join these two blocks. And now we can just go ahead, delete that. Stop bringing that out, cool. Okie dokies. I'm just gonna fix this front part up here a little bit. Okay, someone was timed out, sorry. Um, when I use a picture kind of my throttle on the jet, uh, it still blows up. Any suggestions? Uh, just carry on watching uh, and you'll see what I'm going to be doing. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and set it up once we have everything placed. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Da, da, da. <laughs> Nightbot, sorry. Yeah, he's quite mean. Make a jet engine car. Yeah, we will do that at some stage. Um, how do I stop engines from overheating? Uh, you need to use a PID system, um, Ferris, to do that. So that you're measuring the, thro you measuring the throttle in comparison to the RPS uh, that you want to set. And I'll show you later on how to get that all set up. I just want to go ahead and just fix this quickly. Doesn't seem to be liking me too much. Might have to just move this across by one, maybe. Ah, still not liking me. We haven't placed it right. I think we need to place it one out still. Uh, click contents. I'm just gonna reselect this. Uh, cut it, and I think we need to move it out one more. Paste it. I think we're fine now. Yeah, so we're fine now. I didn't, I didn't have it out enough. Uh, cool. So we got that. Now we can just go ahead and join the two together. Fantastic. And now we can go ahead and delete these blocks that I accidentally created over there. And we can get those put back on the boat itself. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's done. Now we can just carry on building up the front of the hull itself. Don't need those. Get rid of that, get rid of those, and then we can just go ahead now and start building this up here. And we're just gonna make almost like a curved curved bow on this ex example. So I'm not happy, I, found, I think that's too it's too condensed. I wanted to spread out more, so Marcus, go ahead and delete this. Sorry if I'm taking a while to do this, guys. Uh, this is usually how I build things, where I'm constantly deleting things and redoing things until I'm happy, happy with it. Um, so sorry if it is taking a little bit longer than what I usually do, but I like it to be just right. Okay. So once we have that done, now we can go ahead and just set this out. And this is pretty much just going to be our design. And so once we have that done, so length, I'm happy with the length a little bit, so I'll cut it down just a bit. And then pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select three blocks. And then we're just going to continuously be bringing it back like so. So we get a nice, long, elongated shape. Uh, if it's too long, we can always just go ahead and just rotate it down. So three, three, then we can go four, for example, then we can go five, and then we can go six, and we can then go six again, I'll keep it like that. And then it's just gonna be a process of bringing it up. I'm just gonna go back to the chat quickly, guys. Um, there's more people than I thought. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. There's quite a few people here. Uh, Josie, I gotta look after my grandmother. And upload this. Yeah, I will upload it. Uh, hopefully, or you should do it for me. I'm not too sure. Uh, 
cool. Cheers, Frantic. Thanks for popping in. Uh, what's next for multiplayer challenges? Uh, not too sure yet. We're still chatting about that. Um, would you count your global combat chip in SSR as part of SSR? No, it's not part of SSR. I built it separately from SSR. Um, can you make a warship next? Uh, at some stage, I will. I turned your engine model into a rainbow truck that drives off diesel engines. Pretty funny. Cool, man. Um, here's my truck. Yeah, I have. Uh, please make a float plane. Uh, are you going to do a face reveal of a thousand subs? I don't think so. I'm pretty happy with um, keeping my identity somewhat disclosed and undisclosed. Um, well, you never know. We'll, we'll see how we'll see how the channel goes. Um, at the moment, I'm not too sure how how this is going, and obviously, how long we're going to be able to keep this up for. Um, but we'll see. Obviously, the support so far from you guys has been absolutely amazing, and I really appreciate everything from you guys. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to see how how everything carries on going, really. J3721, thank you very much for, wait, hold on. Was that a sub or a donation? I'm not too sure. Oh, Jay, it was a, it was a donation. Thank you very much. Much appreciated, man. Thank you. Uh, Luke, thanks for the sub. Much appreciated. Okay, so let's get back to this. I'm going to start trying speeding up this build a little bit now. We'll start just filling in our hole. We'll have to go ahead and delete a couple of blocks afterwards. Uh, as you can see, it does place a couple of blocks on the outside. But I just want to try and speed this up a bit. It's taking way too long. Okay, so now you can see it's just built a couple of blocks on the outside. So we just need to go ahead and, oops, go ahead and just delete some of these without deleting our actual cool got that done we'll just start cleaning this all up and start deleting all these pieces just over there cash thank you very much for the sub much appreciated man Cool. Uh, so now you can see our hull is quite elongated, which is fine. We'll see how it sits in the water, but I'm pretty happy with that so far. And we'll just finish up doing the actual front section now of the boat itself. Uh, everything's sealed. Fantastic. And I'll just finish up the back area. Go ahead and just maybe just extend this a little bit out. Okay, um, so I'm going to chat again, guys. Who is the donation? Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that, Jay. Uh, I joined 100 subs, now I have 600. Yeah, uh, as I said, the you guys have been absolutely amazing. Uh, the community is really great. Thanks, Bert. I appreciate it, man. When I club no on-screen message. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why that happened. We'll have to go ahead and check that uh, just now. Oh uh, yeah, I saw something about the Lego thing, Stalin thing. Um, uh, Jersey, you need to make me moderate it. Yeah, uh, I don't know how to do that. Uh, I'm still figuring everything out, uh, Blob. Uh, but I will. I will definitely after the stream. Don't worry. Okay. 
doggies. So we're going to just finish up doing the back of the boat here. Get that done. And let's just go ahead and spawn this and see how... Yeah, so that's that's much bigger, much nicer. That's exactly more or less what I wanted. I might just go ahead and actually just curve the, the back of the boat a bit. Um, just to give it a little bit more of a better shape. Uh, so pretty much exactly the same way as how we just did the front. Uh, so we'll see here. Just delete this and go out uh, and then I'll just bring it a couple of blocks like that a couple of blocks like that let's get rid of that and then yeah happy with that and we'll see how it looks now. So that's going to be half, half decent or not uh, towards the rear where it's just curving in a bit. Uh, let's just go ahead and start building this up a little bit. It's a Winka Dink. Sorry if I can't pronounce that. Thank you very much for the donation. Really appreciate it. So we're just going to continue just building up our rear of the hull a bit. Uh, and we'll just see how that starts sitting in the water. Just to give a little definition of the back really, it's not going to be for any actual performance difference by adding this part to the rear once we have that let's we'll go ahead now and just fix up our front because we just added a whole bunch of blocks which we don't want so we'll just go ahead and start finishing all this up here fantastic and uh, we can just go spawn this in and just see how it's sitting in the water i can see the rear is coming out of it yeah that's perfect uh so that's just pretty much going to be the hell of our actual boat done now uh we can now start actually going ahead and start editing everything uh and making it, it look a little better and start actually adding the cockpit now my thoughts were to go ahead and build like some type of cockpit like just over here uh, and then actually have the jet engine just towards the rear here. Uh, but we'll see how that goes now. I'm just going to do a little more editing uh, just to get it to look a little bit better. So I'll start actually curving these pieces in. So if you see here, we'll actually curve the top piece in here. And then we'll just actually make that go all the way around, around the boat. So I'll just curve it in. Jet ends always explode. Uh, yeah, definitely more realistic than using propellers. Yeah. Uh, thanks, I really appreciate it, Zwick. Um, jet end build. Yeah, jet engines. Uh, you can never have <laughs> explosions. Well, yeah, jet engine. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so we're just going to finish building this little like rise, as I guess you could call it, uh, going along the whole boat itself. Uh, so we'll just continue building this all up now. Okay, so pretty much want to just go ahead and start adding these pieces like this. Any of these curved pieces, just go and use the inverse pyramids, just like this. Oops, without deleting our hull. Fantastic. And then these pieces, we just go ahead and just use slopes for these pieces here. Oops. Cool. And then we can just fill this in a little bit. Great. So it's got a little bit more of a shape going now. Uh, cool. Happy with that. Uh, it's going to jump back to the chat quickly, guys. Let's try and catch up a little bit. Um, 
uh, towards the rear. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. You should probably have a fire suppression. Yeah, we might go ahead and actually add a fire suppression system into this. Um, <laughs> typo in the title. Yeah, I know, I know. Put a typo in the title. I need to change that. There you go. I've changed the title for you guys. <laughs> so we don't get any more of those issues. Uh, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and just start building this up now. Now we need to actually build our cockpit area where we're going to be controlling the boat from. So we'll go ahead and just grab a couple of windows and things and start setting up. I'll try and just find a half decent position way to do this. I'm thinking somewhere towards about here is where we can start doing it. And then I might actually delete that and use some corner pieces. Let's see. Hmm. Try and find something that looks half decent. So, what I'm thinking is we get that built up like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, perfect. And then we actually use one of these windows if I can find it. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, so what are we building? We're building a jet boat here in um, in advanced mode with a new jet engine. So we're going to try and build the fastest fastest boat that we possibly can. Uh, in other words, I think I thought that would be a cool thing to do today. Once we've done that, we can just go ahead and start building this. Oh, this, is, this might change, guys. Uh, but this was just the idea of the front bow piece. And then... We can actually go ahead and delete some of this. And this in theory, I guess, would be our somewhat of a cockpit and we can build into that a little bit. Uh, and now we can just start adding our windows and things on. Might have to just build a couple of blocks back so we can place down the window itself. There we go. So got that place down now. We can go ahead and just delete some of these blocks. So you can kind of see the the shape of it coming together a little bit. Um, I don't know if we'll actually have to add add like some kind of like a spoiler or I don't know what you would call it towards the rear to actually get it to sit properly because in theory it's going to be a jet a jet powered um, boat. Okay, so let's we'll carry on just building everything up here now. Uh, what I'm thinking. Some window pieces towards the side. And then that's going to go to our actual engine. So we'll have our jet engines here in the rear and be facing outwards. And now we can just start building up our actual cockpit a little bit more. Cool, pretty happy with that. I uh, might just go ahead and just change that. Cool. What we actually could do Hmm. What I'm thinking about it now is we could make these our doors to actually come in and out of the, the cockpit. So you would have them raise and lower as you want. So that's actually a pretty good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So that's going to be our entrance way into the boat itself. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'm just doing a little bit of detailing, guys. It's nothing. Oops. If it will let me actually select the inverse pyramid. Go. 
I have that place down. Let me just build up this a little bit more now. We can start putting down our seats. Cool, happy with that. That's placed down. Now we can just finish off actually doing with cockpit area or control room area as you would call it. I'm just going to close it off here. Just like so. Fantastic. Now I haven't decided what we're actually going to do with that just yet. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. Cool. So that's going to be our cockpit piece. Uh, as I said, we'll actually have the doors, the windows at least, which are open so we can get in and out of them. Uh, so we'll start just building up this. Oh, I keep some deleting things. We'll start building this up a bit now, guys. Uh, angled. So that's going to be door frame itself. And then I think what we can do is probably go up another one there. All the way along there. So, so far that's what it is I'm just going to go back to the chat quickly guys um, you should do a Stormways campaign I'm thinking of doing a uh, survival survival story mode uh, which will be quite cool I think uh, let me know if you guys are interested in that uh, make a whole interior in the front space yeah we could always do that uh, the whole point now will just be to get it working and, and running. Uh, and then we can always, excuse me, we can always go ahead and do some detailing work after that. Hi, C enabled. enabled. Uh, Josh, with an air take needed uh, into the superstructure. Yeah, so I'm thinking of doing the air intake just um, actually behind like, the main cockpit area. Uh, but I'll show you that now. Or we might actually just do it... Um, at the top of the structure and then bring it down into the two engines itself we'll see how we'll see how that works uh, just now how does cruise control system work uh pretty much just a lever and then you're going to switch between the lever and your chair uh using a switch box um cool freddy that's that's nice great is the submarine on the workshop it will come on the workshop um Hopefully today I might throw it on the workshop. Uh, Devin, you have to go. Okay, cool, man. Thanks for popping in and watching the stream. Really appreciate it, man. Okay. Uh, next, guys. Let's go ahead. Uh, I'm not going to set up this yet because obviously I want to get the actual boat working first. Uh, so once we have that, we need to kind of like design our rear section of the boat and see how that's going to work out. So what I think the next step is we need to start actually getting our jet engine components into the build itself. Uh, so first off, we need our intake, or our intake. I'm gonna, let's see. I think that's gonna be actually, yeah. So what I'm going to do is have the intake just above the cockpit there. Cool. And it's gonna take from there and then bring it down to the actual turbines which are going to be just over here and we can actually place those down now and see how that looks uh let's do afterburners why not see if we can get that place down so go ahead and start getting that all done might bring those in a bit actually hmm. Something like that, maybe. Now we'll have to play with it and see how we get it to. Okay, next, let's start building this up a bit. Okay, dokies. Let's get that done here. 
And we just need to continue actually building this along. As you can tell, I do a lot of deleting and things until I get it to how I like. Uh, as I said earlier, constantly always deleting things I've done just until I get it to the point where I'm happy with it. So sorry if I'm doing that a lot in this video, guys. I do apologize. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is just finish building up these. Now what we're going to do with this is bring it down. Mm, not really happy with how that looks, to be honest. Huh. See, having it like that doesn't look that great. Uh, you would have to build around it. I guess we could always build around it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, okay. Let's just commit to it. So we're going to build around it like so. Bring this across. This down the center. Bring this down like that. And then what we'll do is actually bring it across like this. Yeah, still not happy with that, guys. Um, so I'm just going to backtrack a bit here. I'm just trying to figure out how until how we actually get it to where I like it. Uh, I think it's actually looking quite good. Um, so I'm going to catch up with the chat a bit. Uh, Guys, any suggestions for the design of this pack? I would much appreciate it. I'm struggling a bit to actually figure out how I want this to look at the moment. Uh, it's looking okay. It's not looking great. Um, hold on. Let's start fresh. Let's get rid of all this. So this is going to be our cockpit area. Cool. Happy with that. And then we can actually get that to start sloping down. I think. Up, up, up. Make them on the front, uh, half buried in the front. Yeah, we could always do that. Um, yeah, I can post it on the Steam Workshop uh, if I'm happy with it at the end. Um, can I put them under? I could, it just need the air intake just needs to be on the outside. Um, delete the windows and place the intakes on the back of the cockpit. Uh, yeah, we could do that also. Uh, I want to actually like, oh, I guess you could because we aren't going to be sealing up the cockpit 100%. Uh, so we could in theory have have them coming out of there. Oh, have I lost my normal block? Where did that go? I guess we could always do that. Um, but what I'm thinking is having it like that and then having it actually slope back down. Uh, and then where we're actually going to put the exhaust part will be up here. So we'll actually build up like a little section here towards the rear. Or I actually might just do it uh, like facing out here. We'll, we'll have to see how that how that looks uh, towards the end. But let's just start by building up our back section. Now the back section here we're going to build the same as how we would build our hull. I think so. If we just go ahead and delete these blocks. Build this out like so just until I'm happy with the length so about there I think and then we pretty much go okay three blocks cool 
blocks, three blocks, three blocks, and then we're just going to build back like that and just continue it along. I might just add two blocks and I want it a little bit longer. And then we go ahead and take that, drop it down, delete that, drop it down, delete that, drop it down, delete that, drop it down. And we'll see how that turns out. That might be a little bit weird, but I said we'll see. We'll see how it comes out at the end. Now we can just go ahead and delete these blocks here. Put our inverse pyramids inside. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Uh, cool. So now we can just start finishing up the rear section. Actually, I have an idea now. Go ahead. Let's do about there. Let's finish up the detailing here. And then what we're going to do, as I'm thinking, is to build our actual jet engine into this pipe, into this piece here. So we can go ahead, grab one of our after thrusters. And have it like that. I think that's going to look half decent at the end of the day. Cool, we got that done. Uh, that's pretty much going to be the base of the boat, I think, is done. Um, can you put the show in the workshop when it's done? Yeah, I probably will be doing that. Uh, thank you very much, Nicholas. Much appreciated. Josh is going to be thinking, cool, man. I uh, have never been in such a calm stream. Yeah, I'm pretty chilled. Uh, I'm not hyped or anything like that. I'm not one to do the whole hype hype thing. Pretty much just chilled. Uh, the chat isn't blowing up. Yeah, it's pretty chilled. Um, it's, for me, it's trying to read all the comments and keep up with everything. It's quite hard, but I'm doing my best, hopefully. Uh, can the jets provide propulsion while in water? I think so. Uh, I haven't tested Rooney, to be honest. Um, but we're going to find out everything now and see how we're going to be able to control this and all the usual things so let's start building up the actual engine now we were, the problem that we were thinking was obviously we need the air intake for this and the suggestions that you guys were saying was to get it from the cockpit now i have a different idea and my idea is going to be the following and i don't know if this is going to work or not but bear with me for a bit i'm just going to delete a hole here let's build this back up sorry i'm start going to start actually building like a step going into here. Start building around it. So this is my thought process so far. Get rid of that. Get rid of these. Oops. And almost have like a slope going down into it. Uh, I might just delete that. And do this. And then use these to go down. It's almost have like a slope going into the engine itself where it's going to suck in air. Oh, once again, I'm deleting a whole lot of blocks. Sorry, guys. I uh, constantly do that where I'm deleting and adding things in. So if we go ahead and take our intake and have the intake like so and it's going to pull in air here you know you could do it where it actually comes through the sides uh if you want instead of the top but i think we'll leave it like that for now and we'll see how we get on now the next thing we need to add is the compressor so let's go ahead and add that in uh, um for the purposes i'm just going to delete these 
Okay, let's go ahead and add our compressor in. Cool, so we've got our compressor. The next thing is our combustion chamber, and that's where it's going to mix the air and the fuel together. So I'll go ahead and place that down. Uh, and then all we need to do is bring it down to a turbine. Now we don't need power coming out because we only need to control the actual turbine itself. So we can just use a small one. And I'm just going to take that, place it there. And then we can just take our straight duct pieces. Uh, what is it doing? What are you doing, Stormworks? There we go. Cool. Uh, now next thing we need to do is do we need to obviously to have fuel coming into this afterburner. So we're just going to flip that round, make a hole there, and add the afterburner on there. Cool. And then we should have a hole underneath where we can access the fuel for the afterburner. Perfect. So we can go ahead and now start closing that up. Let's go add block there. We need to do another one because we need. Oh, fuel for the main engine. So fuel for the main engine, fuel for the afterburner. That's done. We have the air intake coming in there. And now we can actually just go ahead and just start closing all this up, I think. Let's see how we get this to look. Oops. Hmm. Close that all up. Something like that, I think. I don't know. Not 100% sold on it just yet, but we'll, we might change that as we go. Something to that extent. I think that might be pretty pretty decent. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so we have our engine installed. Uh, we have all that done. What we're going to do before we start adding any detailing or customization or anything like that, we're going to finish actually just making sure we've got all the components done. And now we need to start adding rudders and things to the back of the boat itself. So this is going to be hard to actually control it when it's in the water. Now to do that, I think what we can do is we can go ahead and just use simple fin rudders. And now just make sure obviously to disable this because it's going to invert it when we place it down. So we can just go ahead. Add those all up. Last thing I'm going to do is just add. Actually, hmm. yeah, I'll keep it like this. Uh, I'm not going to add any of the stabilization things just yet. We'll just see if we can get this working to start off with. So once we have that done, we can start adding a couple of buttons now into our main dash and see if we can. So we need a push button to start the engine itself. So we push that down. We can rename that starter. We said we were going to get a little throttle here, and that's going to control the power of the engine itself. So we've got that done. We can obviously add a whole bunch of dials and gauges and speedos and things like that, but we'll get into the detailing in a couple of minutes uh, where we'll add, add all those things in later on, but we'll just get the actual boat working for the moment. Uh, so once we have that, we also need fuel, so we can put some nice... Uh, maybe we can just what we can do. I think let's do custom fuel tanks for this for this build. That would be a good idea. So we'll just make two large tanks towards the front of the boat itself. Up there, and then as always, we just add our custom things to it. So fluid spawner, yeah, because we want jet fuel inside here. We also need a fluid meter to measure how much fluid's in there. And then we also need a fluid port to take fuel in and out of that itself. Uh, I'm just gonna catch up with the chat again. Sorry guys. Um, it's gonna go flying when you kick the throttle up uh, in my prediction. Yeah, we're gonna have to add weight definitely. Um, we'll get to that now. We'll just see if we can get it working. Yellow and black straps. Yeah, could be a good idea. Uh, add wings. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that also. Uh, uh, cheers, William. Thanks for watching. Much appreciated, man. Uh, hopefully, see you in the next one. Fuel cap. Yeah, we'll add a fuel system also. Uh, as I said earlier, guys, we'll get to all the detailing parts uh, a little bit later on in the moment. We'll just get something that actually works. Uh, then we can start adding our, all the different 
detailing parts, which will actually make it look and perform quite decently. Um, your style is different than the creators. What is your idea? Um, what do you mean, like, like my style in sense? Uh, I like to do quite like realistic things uh, in real life. That's what I I like to build. Um, if that's the question you were asking. So we got that. We now need to obviously send fuel to our two fuel inputs. So what we can do is we'll just add simple pumps to the end of these. Check they have the right orientation. So they're not. So let's go ahead and delete them. Right orientation, perfect. Uh, and then we can start doing it on these red just to make sure I know what these pumps are. And we'll go ahead and actually just join them up in the center here. Bring it down from here. And then we'll just use a T piece, I think. Here. Another T piece here. We'll go and get that all connected up. And then we'll do the same thing for the afterburner. And then I think if I'm correct, the afterburner actually has a switch uh, to control whether you want it on or off. So we'll see if we can do that. Go ahead, just start hanging all these pieces up. Cool, so that's our fuel system done. Uh, we'll need a switch to turn on our fuel pumps. So we'll go ahead and just go back to our cockpit, add a simple key, that key. So we can actually have two uh, to turn on either one of the fuel pumps. Good idea, actually. We'll go ahead, just connect that up quickly. So that's going to be the key switch to turn our fuel pumps on. Uh, while we're here, we could also go ahead and add a circuit breaker. And the circuit breaker is just going to be to turn on our electricity. So we have the circuit breaker down. We need our batteries. Go find batteries. I'll use one battery for this tutorial. I think it'll be more than enough. Uh, the fuel system itself. We want jet fuel in both of these tanks. Cool, that's done. Uh, now we can actually start just wiring this up. Uh, we need to just put down our PID to control the RPS of the engine itself. Let's put down a simple PID just over there. So uh, so let's just go to the engine queue. Let's actually wire this all up. So first things first is we're going to turn our fuel pumps on. Cool, uh, our engine it's, or our pilot seat itself, WS is going to control Nothing at the moment, we're just going to be able to control the throttle using this at the moment. We're going to get that hooked up later on. The next thing we want to do is left and right. So AD is going to control our rudders towards the rear. Um, we need our starter button to start our engine. Throttle is going to come from our throttle lever and that's going to go down into our set point. Once it goes through the pit, it's going to then control the throttle there. The process variable is going to be the RPS of the intake. So we have that. Settings for the pit itself, as I said in the video last night, 0 0.01. Integral gain 0 0.00001. And then 0.1, if I'm correct. Yeah, cool. Got that. Got that wide up. Let's make sure this is closed. Why is there a battery there? Uh, we got that wide up, so we got that controlling everything. Cool. We're not going to use the afterburner just yet. We can set that up later on. And then last thing we need to just do electricity quickly, just to actually start testing the system and see if this idea is going. Oh, actually, hold on. I'm just going to delete this battery quickly because I said I was going to use it through the circuit breaker. So circuit breaker is now actually controlling everything. Instead, electricity there, electricity there, there, and there. And before we go, and uh, I'll spawn this in quickly, let's see if it floats. Cool, it's working. Um, before we go ahead and actually test that, let's catch up with the chat again. Um, I use red for power, orange for fuel. Yeah, I did the other way around, uh, Luna. I know your boats and cars work. Afterburner just provides more thrust at the end of the day. Um, well, we'll go ahead and test it on. Um, <laughs> More fuel to go fast. <laughs> uh, making my way downtown with Jersey. He's building a jet boat. Yeah. 
PID low, what is PID? Sorry, gotta go. What is PID? Uh, not zero, 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 one. Uh, PID. Okay, sorry, everyone's asking about PID. Uh, I'll quickly talk about the PID, guys. So, PID itself, um, let's go ahead and place it down. Uh, in theory, it's similar to a uh, gyroscope in sense. It will, as I said earlier, you have your set point and your variable uh, and then you have your actual settings that you can go and change in this um, so your process variable is what it's going to actually take so for example we're going to give it a set point of say one it then me measures that one in comparison to the process variable so say this is zero it will then say hey the difference between the two is one because obviously zero and one the difference is one uh and then it will work out its equation to get to that value that you set so say for example the variable is zero uh this is one it's then going to output the number to eventually end up at your set point uh, and as i said the settings you go in is actually to go ahead and change to change all that um is your settings i'm just going to connect up the fuel pump to our pit to make it turn on that's very basic understanding of it itself. Um, like to check quickly. Uh, yeah, we'll have to do our aerodynamic stuff. At the moment we'll just get it all working and see what we need to have. High waves? I don't think so. I think the boat's going to go flying. I think the boat will go absolutely flying if we add waves. So let's go ahead. One thing uh, we might need is, is a ladder. Um, I might be able to, ah, there we go. So fuel pump, fuel, uh, one thing we haven't done is our lever. We need to set it because the lever is not controlling the throttle now. It's controlling our RPS. So minimum value, yeah, minimum maximum value 200. Anything over 200 will explode. Start it at 50, I think will be fine. And we can go ahead and actually spawn that in now. And then we should be able to get our engine working. Let's see. If I've done everything right, well, we need a ladder. I'm just going to go ahead and put a ladder on, guys, before I kill myself and get angry with not having a ladder on here. Cool, got a ladder. While I'm here, I'm just going to double check everything. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, tsunami. Uh, no tsunami not today <laughs> frantic is the only one that spawns in tsunamis when trying to race uh so fuel pumps fuel pumps on hit the electricity also hit our starter oh it's dying now, I've never used the throt a starter button on these engines. I've always just used a toggle button. Hmm. I'm going to use a toggle button. Apparently, you can control it with a starter button, but it uh, doesn't seem to want to use that. So, let's go ahead and delete that. Use a toggle button. And start wiring that up. See if that works instead. Uh, yeah, I will need I will need pitch. Um, but at the moment, just to get it to actually work and see see how much pitch and things we need before we start adding all those components. That's that. We should. One thing we also need to do is invert our rudders. You can see I'm pressing left and it's corner going right and so on and so forth. So we'll set that up just now. It should be igniting. I'll give it a little more throttle. Hmm. This doesn't seem like it wants to start. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, I don't know. We're gonna have to try and figure this out. Hmm. Maybe it does have to have a starter button. Hmm. 
push button yeah electricity yeah should should work now go ahead and test it Something's not right. It's not igniting. So something isn't right. We need to just double check everything, guys. That's set up right. Throttle down the gauge. Fuel should be working fine. Let's see why it wouldn't be working. Should be fine. What am I missing, guys? Ah. See here, the pit wasn't getting turned on. So it wasn't giving us any throttle. Oh. That's why. It's always something very simple and basic. Uh, the pit toggle isn't connected. Yeah, just saw it now. Zero point zero zero. Yeah, it's it's. Um, it is, it's going to be pretty much the same. It's just going to that's going to change on how fast or how slow it gets to gets to its target, uh, the pit itself. We'll go ahead just now and we'll change it, and you'll see what difference it makes um, when we start adding our screens and so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and turn this on, see if we can get it to ignite. No, that's not good. At all. <laughs> I'm sinking! Uh, okay, interesting. So I think we might need to move our fuel tanks to the back of the boat, or we might need to add some weight towards the back of the boat. So let's do that now. A little bit of weight and see how, what difference that will make to it. Get that done. Okay, that was way too heavy. Way too heavy. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah. why is it built? Shouldn't have built all this inside here. Huh. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all this. No wonder it sank. Didn't want all this built. Okay, <laughs> got that done. Let's spawn it in again, see if it works. Uh... Okay, that looks like it's okay, more or less. Uh, we'll see if we can actually just get it to work now. Okay. I think we can let go of the starter. Yeah. Okay, so we will need, as I said, turn, turn the sound down a little bit. Uh, we will need some kind of controls towards the rear to keep it angled up. Seems like it's too heavy in the front, so we might go and move those fuel tanks to the back of it, I think. Uh, might be a good idea. I'm just going to go ahead and increase our throttle up a bit. Full throttle. We're not going that fast, actually, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's the fuel tanks. I think the fuel tanks are too big. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete the fuel tanks and we'll add new ones in. Cool. Um, 
yeah, Pit had no signal. Yeah, we fixed that now. Um, afterburners, yeah, and we'll also set up the afterburners um, and see if we can get a bit of speed off off that. But I think what what the main thing is now is to get rid of these weight blocks that we have towards the rear, so make it a little bit lighter, so we can go faster. And then I think we'll also just move the fuel tanks to the rear uh, and put smaller ones. Seems like it's weighing it down a little bit too much. So we're going to just delete all this that we built up earlier. Get rid of that. And get rid of these pipes. Get rid of that. And close that in there. And what we can do is add our fuel tanks here, I think will be a good idea. Let's go ahead. Oops. Grab our fuel tanks. Uh, Playboy123, thank you so much. Appreciated. So let's go ahead and let's start putting some fuel tanks down. I think that's fine for now. We can always add more and change it as we go on, but I think just to get this working, I think this will be fine. Cool. And then what I'm going to do, because we don't have any pumps, I'm just going to go and add pumps on either side of this. Should be the right orientation. I might have to go and just double check that. Brilliant. Yeah, that's cool. We're happy with that. Um, get that all done. Oh, uh, Becca Warner for sub. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Okay, I can go ahead and reconnect our fuel pumps. Cool. That's done. And then we we'll just make sure we have jet fuel enabled. Cool, done. Let's jump in. See how that sits or works a lot better. Hopefully, it's going to be a little more heavier towards the rear. Turn that on. Turn that on. Turn on. Throttle. Get it started. Okay, we're up. We're on. Let go of the starter. Yeah. And let's increase the throttle. Oh, that seems to be going much better now. It's still not fast enough for what I want it to be yet. I think that's when we'll have to add the afterburner. That should give us a lot more, a lot more speed when we add that afterburner in. We also need some kind of stabilization system to lift us out out the water a little bit more. I think. Cool. We'll go ahead and bring that back in. So, now we have everything working, what I'm going to do is stop building up this entirety of it. As I said, we had our two pumps, or two switches for the pumps, uh, our starter switch, I'll leave it there for now, throttle, cool, speed sensor, so we're going to add our speed sensor to the boat itself, now that can be anywhere, wherever you want, so you can do it inside the hull, uh, just by simply going ahead and grabbing a linear speed sensor over here you can go ahead and select on it you'll see here now it's got an absolute directional horizontal and vertical uh, we're going to do a directional so whichever direction we're going in it's going to measure that speed you can do it absolute so then it measures your vertical speed your horizontal speed and your directional speed all together and adds it together and produces a number i like directional i'm going to use that for that this tutorial uh, now we're going to measure in knots so by default this will measure in meters per second so we need to convert it i'm going to be using a if we can find it function one now function one is pretty simple you go ahead you give it that signal it goes in and then it comes out it's going to go to our display which our display is going to be knots so speed uh, knots cool and to convert it you go ahead and select the function you can see here you have a whole bunch of different things i'm not going to talk about that you can go to conversions and you can see to convert from meters per second to knots you need to do this equation so times 1.943844 that's 
times, and then you just need the star. There we go. Now one, four, three, eight, four, four. Cool. So that's going to take the number it takes from here. It's then going to times it by that value, which is the same one you can find over here, and it's going to output to output to our speed and not, which is going to be perfect. So that's going to tell us how fast we're going. Uh, which is going to be perfect. Next thing we need to do is we need to add a button for our afterburner. Now let's have a look at that. So that's going to be enable afterburner on off. I wonder if that's a toggle or if that is a push. Uh, I'm going to go with toggle and see how it works. So I'll go ahead and delete that and we'll put a toggle button just over there. Find toggle button. Place that down. Afterburner. Afterburner. Cool. Got that placed on. Go ahead and connect that up. Sweet. So that working. Perfect. And then we set our two different fuel pumps. So we had one fuel pump is going to be for the back and one is for the rear. We need one to turn our PID on. So I'm going to go ahead and get another key switch here. That down. I'll catch up with the chat in a couple minutes, guys. It's going to be PID switch. Cool. Go ahead and put that down there. We can rename our pumps. So we said the left one is going to be for the off. So that's the pump to go to the afterburner, and the right one's for the engine itself. So afterburner fuel pump and then this is going to be the jet engine fuel pump cool got that um main power that's our let's switch this is going to be our rps starter jet engine starter and then after minute. Cool. That's all done. And then main pilot. Cool. Got that done. Okay. I'm going to catch up with the, with this, everything. Uh, so hold on. Uh, basic function uses for PID in a similar video to your logic. Yeah, I will do that eventually. Do I have Twitch? No, I don't. Not at the moment. Um, what is he on Steam? Uh, Mr. New Jersey on Steam. Fuel pumps, yeah, it pumps the fuel from the fuel tanks to the engine itself. Uh, the sub pop-ups are for YouTube. So when you sub to me on YouTube, pop us on the screen, obviously any donations, anything like that, that will also then go ahead and pop up on the screen itself. Um, I think to make use of the jet engine boat, you should make a hydrofoil. Uh, yeah, I might some stage. We'll see if we can get this working at the moment. The afterburner button. Um, yeah, I need to connect. I need to, Josh, I need to go ahead and connect all this to electricity um, before we exit here. <laughs> we could actually do that. But the thing is, I'm not too sure. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. So we said afterburner. Get rid of that. What we'll do is we'll actually change it to this button here. So it's going to pop up. Now we need to think of something to unlock that. Now to get that unlocked, what I'm thinking is if our throttle is over 150 RPS, it's going to unlock and it's going to let us go ahead and actually push that. So set that up. We'll need a threshold gate. Place down the threshold gate here. That's going to measure our throttle value which is, we can take it, from, yeah, we will take it from here. It's going to measure that, and then we'll set that up now, and then if it's within 150 or 200, it's going to let us open up our button, and that's going to be our afterburner. Cool. And then we need to actually set up our afterburner to go ahead and connect that to that. Cool. Thanks for the idea. I appreciate that. Um, 
yeah we'll we'll need a fire exp um, expression system we'll have to add that in at some point i think we're just getting the engine working and everything running will be the first step in the moment um stabilization i'm probably going to use uh just the fin rudders to be honest uh probably have set in the front of the boat or halfway in, in between and then another set at the rear um and we'll see how that works we might have to go ahead and actually just add one add a couple to the top of the boat itself uh instead one thing i did say earlier is that we need to invert these because they were the wrong way around so let's go ahead and delete these at the moment and get the positive facing the other direction So once we have that, we can then go ahead and connect that up again. And we said uh, AD, yeah, cool. Perfect. So that's now hooked up. Uh, last thing we need to do is just our electricity, make sure everything is, no, everything is connected. Pumps. So we got that done. Uh, next thing I remember I was saying earlier on is that I want this to actually open up. Now, how I'm going to do that is by doing this. So delete that, delete that, enable that, close this off. I'm just going to add that on here. So we're going to actually have windows opening up here so we can get in and out. Um, see if that works or not so we can go ahead and we'll just add on compact aerobic pivots add those there so positive is going to be to close uh, negative is going to be to open in that direction now you don't have to use these you could use any one of the other pivots on but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to use this add that onto there and then what we should be able to go ahead and do is grab our window and we might have just delete that Hold on. add it onto there and we can always delete it afterwards if need be open it like that build it onto here There we go. So we'll see how that works. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll add a simple button. And we'll do two sided toggle actually. That way we can open and close it from inside the cockpit. Although it's not exactly in a great position there. Um, yeah, I'll leave it there for now. Uh, we can always go and change it afterwards and put it to somewhere. Actually, no, no I don't like it there. I'll delete that. So we need to get to this block here. No. That one? No, it's the one over. That block I don't want in there anymore. Okay, so that's gone. Fantastic. What we can do is close that off. Cool. And then we can add our switch, one switch here, I think. So we'll have one switch there, you can press, and then another switch on the outside. So we'll go ahead and just use our one side of toggle buttons. Another one just over here. Cool. And that's going to be to get in and out. Cool. Uh, no use door hinges in case you flip a couple of flood. Uh, I could use the custom, I could use the custom uh, sealable ones at the end of the day. Uh, it could be a good idea actually. <laughs> uh you're gonna need an ejection seat yeah we could always do that at some stage um well it'll take a little bit of knowledge getting to that working out but uh we could always add an ejection seat where this will open and then actually disconnect the if we added this onto like connectors for example disconnect it and push up for push us forward could always get that set up um 
I don't think it'll be too hard to get that working. Let's just go ahead and now just start finishing up all our things. Now these controls we want to come directly from the battery and the only reason why that is because obviously we won't be able to get in to turn them on and off. So we want them always on or always having power should I say rather. Uh, then we just go ahead and actually start turning these on. So simply by just obviously connecting up these two toggle switches to each other that means when one is pressed the other one is also going to be working now to get this to operate is we need um, a number input instead of a on off so i'm just going to be using two switch boxes for this so let's go ahead and place that down we'll need two numbers so for example at the moment it's in a zero so that will be closed so zero is off and then change that to whatever value we want depending on how this is orientated right now we'll just double check get that all right up get that right up there and then we wanted it so zero is closed one is open one we want it to open up so negative one is the number value we want to give it negative one is on cool that's all done um we can actually go ahead and delete that now and that should be all set up. Let's double check all the electricity. Yeah, cool. Spawn that in and see if the doors actually work. Uh, a flying boat would be a cool 100,000 milestone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what am I going to do with those 1,000 subs? Uh, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Um, I haven't thought about it. Because I was, uh, to be fairly honest with you guys, I didn't think I was going to get this close this soon. Um so yeah it's still it's still quite a big surprise to me to be honest face a real thousand no nah, i don't think so okay let's go ahead and just double check our door system is working oh, oh look at that that's pretty cool i think I, well, i'm just keep on falling off there which is not cool <laughs> uh oh that looked cool i'm enjoying that uh, Let's keep on falling off. And jump into our seat. Go ahead and close our doors. Oh, that's that's satisfying. Very cool. Okay, uh, power on, fuel on, fuel on, starter, PID on, controlling the throttle, start going up. And uh, we can start increasing our thing. And you can see now, because we're going over that RPS, that's opened up. So we can now kick the afterburner. Come on. Is it on? Is it not on? Hmm. Interesting. Not too sure if it's on or not. Seems to be getting as much power as I would have imagined. Huh. I think what the next step is we're going to have to start adding in some dials and things to actually tell us how fast we're going. At the moment we're only going 40 knots, which is not fast at all. Um, so we'll go ahead, spawn this back into our dock area and see if we can actually start getting it to go a little quicker. Uh, guardrails not to guardrails i don't know if we'll add guardrails uh, i quite like the the how it looks at the moment double jet engine yeah we might have to actually put another jet engine on uh but we'll see the, we'll see how it goes at the moment uh hold is my channel uh i've had the channel for a while but i actually only started posting videos i think uh about what, two three weeks now guys well the guys they've been here since the beginning um quad jets for jets we might have to um if the front's lifted out of the water, you'd be much faster. Yeah, um, that's what I'm thinking. I think is if we if I lower the rear a little bit more, um, and then put stabilization planes. So if we were to go ahead and use these, so if we can go ahead and delete these, add this here, like so. And we use that to control our stabilization. So we can go ahead and just connect that up to the power quickly. Connect that up. And we'll use our up down from our chair itself. Control that. 
I think that's going to help a bit. And then I think just adding a little bit of weight towards the rear is also going to help. Uh, just to get it like to actually sink into the ground a bit. Or sink into the water, sorry, should I say. I'll we'll spawn that in to see how that sits. Now you can see it wants to lift the nose up a little bit now, so that's going to be good. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into our seats. Uh, what we could actually do, I'm just thinking about it now, is we could actually make this whole engine like hatch here open also. Uh, so the same as how we did the doors, we could do that all along here. I think that would be pretty cool. Go ahead and just close that all up. Uh, we'll get the engine started again. Put on RPS, keep it at 50. Building doors, yeah. Uh, Jim's, you have to go. Okay, cool, no problem, man. Uh, I'll see you soon. So now we can actually go ahead by using our up down. We should be able to control how we pitch towards the rear. But one thing I haven't done is it's not currently toggling, it's resetting. So we need to go ahead into our seat now and change it to sticky key instead of reset because what we were doing is as soon as we we're pressing it was just resetting so that's done now and go back and spawn it add a warning system uh what warning system do you want to see <laughs> hi nice pot <laughs> lol okay cool um it's gonna go Okay, cool. Ba, ba, ba. Let's go ahead and get into here. Let's see if we can get everything working. Jump in. Now, power, paid, jet engine, automatic fuel pump, RPS is good. Start the jet engine, turn the RPS up a little bit. Uh, distance system, yeah, we can set that up. Uh, spare the games, like scrap mechanic and building games. Uh, at the moment, up. I pretty much only play Soulworks. Um, I'm really into it, so. So we'll go ahead and I'll just check this. So we can go ahead and lean it up a little bit. Now increase the RPS. Still very slow. Might have to add more, to be honest. Um, we shouldn't be this slow. I think. I think the next the next step, guys, is going to be to um, start adding some gauges on onto this boat and start figuring out what's happening with this engine, if it is running properly or if it's missing some components. So. In order to do that, what we're going to do is start adding some dials into the cockpit itself. So we'll have, see what we need to read. So we've got temperature, air pressure, a whole bunch of air pressure, temperature and RPS. So what we can do is actually go ahead and just take the RPS and measure the RPS of every section and see how that's going. RPS from there, RPS from there, RPS from there, and then RPS from there. So that's going to measure our different sections and see how we're going on the RPS. Uh, fuel tanks, we'll need a gauge for that. Let's see where, where we can find more space in here. It's getting a little bit tight. Um, can I build there? No. We need something for fuel, and we need something for our battery. So, delete that. Take that. Take that. And then should be able to replace that seat with one of the 
passenger seats. Doesn't want to let me place it. I can always place it there, I guess, for now, and just see how it fits. No, don't like that. Hmm. We need more space in here. More buttons. Yeah. Okay. I guess we could. Yeah, we could do it here. So. Two, three. Fuel. Battery. And temperature dump. So fuel. We'll just take one of them because it's taking out all four of them. It should be equal. Uh, we could always add those up if you wanted to get a full a full indication. But in theory, it's, it's taking from all of them, so they should stay at the same measurement. Same goes with battery. Let's connect that straight up there. And then the last thing was temperature, and we're going to measure. Let's see, let's get the temperature of the engine or turbine itself. I think that'll be fine. Lastly, we'll go ahead and just now connect up our electricity for all these things. Double check that's all connected. Perfect. Cool. And now we'll spawn this in and see how it goes. Um, so going back to the chat, add like 50 afterwards. Yeah, you could too. Um, Funny not okay. It's not slow, but I've seen I've seen boats go faster. That boat that I was I built in the challenge was uh, what I think I think I managed to get up nearly too close to a hundred knots, and that was just off two aircraft engines and some gearboxes. I don't know why the afterburner is not making that much difference. Um, maybe the engine burning hot being fully ignited, uh, and now the afterburn is fuel. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, uh, I'm still testing out. Also, I don't know why this boat is rocking so much. It's, it could be just that it's not that much weight in it. Um, well, that's the whole point of building these things is testing and figuring out how everything works. Um, oops. So, get on. Start the engine up. Feels good. Battery's good. Temperature. The bed is not making any difference at all. Let's jump out of seat here. Rotations are all pretty consistent. Fuel's going down. Battery's good. Temperature's good. I don't know what's the problem? It should it should be getting more power. So, what I think we're going to do. Now, let's go ahead and actually start adding some more, some more afterburners to it and see if that makes a difference. Might, it might not. So, this is going to be a test now just to see if this works by adding more afterburners. It's not going to look nice, guys. I'm just going to see. We need to diagnose this and figure out what's going on, what's going wrong with our, with our build so far. If anyone does know, please share it. This is irritating. Cool, got that down. Next thing is we'll build it out one. And then I think we'll turn it around. Cool. Kill. Let's get rid of, actually, you know what? Let's get rid of the afterburners for now. And let's just use our normal exhaust and see if the afterburners might be affecting it at all. You never know. 
Oh, let's just do that for now. Uh, so we've got that all wired up. Yeah, cool. Let's go ahead and spawn that. Uh, I'm just going to jump back to the chat quickly, guys. Um, could I do an altitude, altitude hold for aircraft? Yeah, I could do that at some point. We'll be building a helicopter at some stage. Um, why are you not making an airplane, <laughs> Matt? Because uh, I thought it would be fun to make a, a boat. Uh, fastest boat that we could. Uh, can you stack compressors to further compress any heat full? We can try that out, see if adding more compressors might help. Uh, turn up the RPM limits. What? You, oh, on the actual. Well, if I'm correct, the engines. If you don't have an RPM limit on the actual jet engines, only on like the other ones. Uh, the limit is the limit is what you're actually setting it to by using by using the pit and the lever here. Um, And you're watching your two favorite streamers at the same time. <laughs> well, who else is streaming? Are you watching? Uh, with audio on both, your aircraft boat just got nerfed. Oh, yeah, I think so. Aircraft engine. Hmm. I don't know. We're going to try and figure it out and see how we can get it. Um, see if we can get it to work. So we've just gone ahead and changed the exhaust and see if that, that makes a difference at all. But in theory, if, you, if you're if powering up a, a plane, the plane is weighing much more than this. So I don't see what issues we have let's jump in start everything up again see if we can get it to work oh, hello that's much quicker now, I don't know that if that's because we added more exhaust, or is it because we are using normal exhaust instead of the afterburner exhaust. We're going 76 now. Uh, is the jet engine going to replace turbine engines? No, I think it's going to it's going to it's going to stay as it is. To be honest, uh, that could change. So yeah, we've got more power now. So I don't know if that was because of the exhaust but we'll change all those three now to, to um afterburners and see if that make oh ah! fell out uh we'll change those to afterburners and see if that makes a difference now so go ahead and delete that delete that grab our afterburners now we'll have to go ahead and add the fuel in for these also Double check this is working. Should be fine. I'm just going to split it off here so we can go to. Both of the afterburners. Cool. Let's reconnect that. Cool. So that's all wired up now. Perfect. Just read up a little bit on these afterburners. Um, Thrust will be produced at the back of the exhaust, um, proportional to the internal RPS of the engine. Additional thrust is produced when the afterburner is active at the cost of increased fuel consumption. Yeah, I understand that, but. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's just connect our button up for the afterburners. Uno, dos, tres. Double check everything else is still connected. Yeah, cool. We can go ahead and spawn that in and check it now. Um, and catch up with the chat again, guys. 
The jetons are way too big, I think. Yeah, they are quite big, um, especially if you're doing smaller things. However, you can get power to come out of them without using the exhaust. Uh, so you could make... Ooh, that's heavy. Uh, or maybe I've left a hole in the boat. Did I leave a hole in the boat? Ah, I did too. That needs to be filled up here. Um, yeah, but you can use it without the exhaust, so uh, it makes it a little bit more compact. Okay, let's try that again. Um, what are my PC specs? Um, nothing great. So I've got a 4670K. Uh, it's a couple of years old now. Uh, it's overclocked to what, 4.4? Uh, GTX 980, I bought back in 2014. Uh, what else? 8 gigs of RAM, nothing special. Um, monitor I'm using, Predator 27 inch, uh, 2K, 165 hertz monitor. Probably a little bit overkill for Storm Mix, uh, but still nice. Uh, are you trying to make a super fast boat? Yeah, I am. Um, I'm trying to make the fastest boat we can in Storm Works. Um, but not using gearboxes and things, just trying to do it by jet power only. Um, why is there no four way pipe? Yeah, I know we need a four way pipe. Um, definitely do need that. Didn't connect the one on the left. Why didn't I connect on the left? Let me know. Don't need the door open. Yeah, I'll close it off now. Uh, could you put rotating exhaust so you can make it fly? Yeah, you could do. Um, 960, oh cool man. Uh, why does a hole on top of the boat sink if but a custom door with a hole doesn't make it sink? Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, just the dynamics of the, oh, the dynamics of the game at the end of the day. Um, that's pretty much how it works. Unfortunately. Uh me looking with James and go fast. Yep. Please make an aircraft carrier, or at least ask your ESCO star friends to make one. Uh, yeah, we will be doing... I know Donk is working on one. Um, I've never thought of doing one, to be honest. It seems too much work. And I also have to finish off my LSD, uh, the Bay class. Uh, that's going to be absolutely massive. I might at the end of the stream. If you guys want, I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, 390 Chris, thank you for the sub, man. Much appreciated. Uh, never mind, I'm tripping. Uh, yes, aircraft carrier tester, please. Uh, yeah, I'll show you guys later on uh, towards the end and see how it all works. Uh, as the source, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Why am I sinking? Hmm. Either we're too heavy. How much do these afterburners weigh? They only weigh 10. Have we deleted some blocks that we shouldn't have? Is, is there something going on that I should be aware of? Ah, uh, yeah, we didn't close that off. Okay, I know where the problem was. Let's go ahead and close that off. Cool, done. Let's spawn it and see if it's actually going to work now. And see if the afterburners were my problem or just not having enough exhaust were my problem. At the end of the day, turn it on. The switch, after banner, chip pump, starter. Come on, start, baby, start! Yay! Let's give it some SPS. Have to fill. Oh yeah, that's quick. What are we doing? Seventy. Let's enable after banners. Oh, we get a little bit of more power. But not, not that much. That's half decent at least. Let's turn a little bit. I think we need more power. What do you guys think? More power? More power? Jeremy Glock said, more power! <laughs> more more power time dots oh sorry guys power 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 yeah we will we'll go ahead we'll use more power 
We want more? Ah! What's happening with these engines? I turned you off. There we go. Now it's off. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, everyone started chatting when I said that. Yeah. More power. I was wanting to play multiplayer uh, with you on Sonomax, but my laptop is not a gaming laptop. My game is right. So, uh, sorry, Matt. Um, we might be, we might go in a couple, couple of weeks time, we might go ahead and do some like subscriber, subscriber games where we do like a little bit of multiplayer games and stuff. Um, cool. More power. You guys have spoken. So what we need to do is we found that we need more exhaust first of all. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete these that we had on. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll start building that out a little bit more now. So we need more power. Uh, so we'll actually change the whole design, I think, of this rear section. So let's go ahead and delete, delete all these guys. Seems that we need more power now. Go and delete that, delete that. And... Perfect. I think while we're adding more power, let's let's just add another engine why not let's add another engine let's do it let's let's go for it another engine more power yeah why not get rid of that get rid of all these Let's redo our engine completely so we get maximum power coming from it at the end of the day. Go ahead, delete that, close that, close that. Oh no, I think that will be enough for our two. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to... One, two, three, cool. Start building up from here. Let's go up one more. That there, and then what I'm going to do is have our air intakes on the side, so the air is going to come through here, go into the engine itself, and then go out to the rear. So, with that done, we can go ahead and start building up the rear section. So, I'll finish these air intakes quickly. So that's done. So we we'll have output coming to all of these. What are you doing? Cool. Okay, uh, it's going back to the chat quickly, guys. Uh, yes, don't explode your engine. Not a good idea. Yeah, taking three hours just shaping the hull of a boat. Uh, it can take longer. I've done. I've worked on the hull for up to three days before just to get it to where I wanted to get it. Um, let's see those multi-stage compressors. Uh, You want to see it when it's done. I'm um, getting rid of this and so I'll go to the workshop. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and finish this engine up quickly, guys. Um, so 
first off, let's place down our different afterburners towards the rear. Uh, we don't actually have to use afterburners because it's not; it doesn't seem to be producing that much more thrust at the end of the day. So we could do get away with just using normal ones. Now, I'm going to continue using the afterburners because I think they look cooler in comparison to the normal ones. Uh, and then I think what we can do is we can just add a few of them actually. So we'll build this, build this up in theory, and then we'll use our ducts to join it all together. Cool. Bring that back one. That. Like that. And then we'll start bringing this. Like that. Bring it out there. Cool. And then we might just go ahead and add some more on top. Another two on top, maybe. Yeah, why not? Why not? Actually, no. Three, maybe some underneath. I don't know. I don't know. Do it like that. And then cool. I think that'll be fun. Uh, power. Ooh, one. That's one thing we need to worry about is the output of the power coming from these for this fuel. Uh, actually, no. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go and add the fuel onto this uh, for this tutorial. Let's leave it off. As you saw, the guys, the, the power that was coming out of the afterburner wasn't wasn't a lot at all. I don't think it's necessary to to go ahead and, and connect those up for now. So we'll leave that all off. I will just finish doing this engine itself. I'll get all this closed off. Get all that closed up. So our hull is now sealed. Cool. And then we can start building our ducts into the back here. So we want, let's see, let's jump down to the ducts. We want our cross piece cross here. Cross piece there. Another cross piece on here, and then this piece is then going to come up. Let's go ahead and seal that off again. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and use corner piece to bring it up. We will need to go one further out. Add more. Oops. Cool. Let's go and do this quickly. Uh, so, straight piece, cool. Corner piece, there. Yeah, that's gonna go up. Cool, another corner piece here. I think I missed a notification. If I did, I'm really, I think I'm sorry about that. Do apologize. Um, whatever you need to get unlimited power <laughs> oh no let's make a j engine boat with 12 j engines yeah we'll just see how we get this going uh i think i missed that notification uh yeah i did Darth. uh Darth snitchell thanks for the sub man much appreciated uh okay next thing is let's go ahead and jump on here don't forget guys uh if you are really enjoying the stream or my channel uh feel free always just to go ahead and actually donate something off to me it really helps and obviously helps the channel grow a little bit more uh and then brings me one step closer to doing this full time so let's go ahead and finish doing all these ducks now uh we said we were actually going to do two different engines that's fine we can now go ahead and split that off again into the two separate parts well, i guess we could do cross piece here huh. trying to figure out figure this out cross piece and corner piece Let's see uh, see now it's too small to fit in we kind of need To make two pieces go into one. 
so you can fit two pieces perfectly like that but how do we fit them going like that I don't think it's possible to be honest uh, yeah I don't think it is I think we're gonna have to actually go ahead and delete some blocks here hmm. it's irritating and we might also need to move this forward a bit I think to have more room okay uh, ba, ba, ba. let's go ahead and start building this in quickly this in cool that's done you're gonna have to be able to see the engine i guess at the end of the day uh which is fine uh, i'm just gonna catch up with the chat quickly uh what the hell you need for wings my children that book could replace my turbo engine with one jet engine so it'd be in the craft yeah you could do that uh purge jet engines please roast me uh could you add the sevens add seven seven sevens do The spooky guest, why do you want to be roasted, man? I don't see the, I don't see the point. No, nah, we'll do, we'll do another video with, with hydrofoils. I think it's just let's get this engine working. We actually put the three engines. Hmm. Yeah, let's do three engines. Uh, let's see if. Okay. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Three engines. Cool. Uh, let's build them from the back up. Cool. Next is the combustion chamber. Cool. Next would be the compressor. I uh, don't have space to add two of them. Okay. It's gonna have to go with one on each of them at the moment. And our fans on. Cool. And then now we can actually just build up our intake. So we said our intake was gonna come from here and then come into the engine itself. Cool. Happy with that. Close that off. Close this all up. Close that up. Close that up. Close that all up. Cool. Happy with that. Nice. Uh, a few, a few of those. Uh, and now we can just finish up doing our fuel system because we've changed things up a little bit. Finish doing that. Start finishing up these pipes. And now we just need to get fuel to these three different engines. So let's just go and find out where the holes are. No. There? Yeah. And there? No. There? Yeah, cool. Go ahead, fill that in. Cool. Uh, what I'll do is we'll just add a fuel pump onto here. Make sure it's going the right way. Fuel out. Perfect. Need to bring it back. I'm oh, gonna red again, and then we need to join all these together. Mm. Do this piece there, I guess. We need a four-way pipe, guys. I think we need definitely need a four-way pipe in this game. This is irritating not having one. Cool. That's the feeling system done. Cool. We need to obviously turn give power to all of this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add electricity to all that. Uh, cool. That's done. We need to connect our Controls, so that was for the PID. Yeah, it's still connected. Afterburner pumps. We don't have afterburners at the moment. We might add that off in a future video. Starter for the engines. Yep, going to connect that. Uh, PID's throttle to control the three engines. Yep. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to be using three PIDs. 
excuse me. Three pits to control everything. So one, two, three. It's going to then measure each one of the variables of the air pressure. Sorry, of the um, RPS. 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 Cool. Set point will be the same. It's going to be the same target on all engines. So we can go ahead and connect our throttle down there. And then go ahead and connect these up. Cool. And then lastly, we need to connect that up. Switch for the pits, turn them on. Yeah, that's connected. Great. Uh, so that's all that done. We said we had our, I'm not going to connect up our reporting features. We can actually go ahead and delete that for now. Oops. Delete that. Leave that for now. Fill in some more gaps. Cool. Uh, engine's all set up. Cool. All done here in the rear. I might just make that look a little better by sloping it. Let's see. It's going to enable my X plane again. Uh, guys, I'll catch up with the chat very soon. Cool. Uh, okay, let's go check it out. So, hold on. Hi, uh, Calum, what are you doing? <sighs> you don't like Nightbot. Why don't you like Nightbot, Calum? Why are you making him angry? Why are you making him angry? Make a tutorial on a jet plane. Uh, I will do a tutorial on a jet plane at some stage. Uh, we're still learning and finding out and getting to actually work. Uh, at the moment, what is the pit for? The pit controls the, um, if you missed it earlier, it controls the RPS of the engine instead of controlling the throttle. It controls the RPS of the engine instead. Uh, because if you get a full throttle, it's going to go over RP over the 200 threshold, which makes it explode, which we don't want. Uh, Hydrofills make it faster. Yeah, it will, but we should be able to get quite a bit, bit of speed now uh, that we've added all these things in. So we'll go ahead and we'll test it out in a couple minutes. Uh, we're just going to make sure everything is connected properly. We have it all right. AD to control the rudders up down the back. Yeah, we just need to go ahead and just configure the pits that we've gone ahead and put down. So 0.01 control copy, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste them in each one of the pits because they're controlling different things. 0 0.0001, oh, sorry, one more zero. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't matter. It, you can put that to whatever you want. Uh, if we put it to zero, it's not going to make a difference. And then the last one is 0 0.1. Cool, I'm gonna copy and paste that. Cool, that's all done. Um, I think we should go ahead and paint the boat while we're here. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know Let me know in the chat what color you think we should go ahead and, and paint this uh, and what color scheme we should do at the same time. Let me know in the chat, everyone. Oh, I'm sorry, Matt. I can still chat to you in Discord. Don't forget, guys, uh, come to the Discord. I'm always on there. Have a chat with me. Send me messages, whatever you need. If you want to show me something, go ahead. It's a nice little community. A lot of nice people inside there. Uh, so jump in there if you want. Uh, so let's see. Black, orange, pink, black, uh, red, white, blue, hell. Oh, Jesus. I think we need to get a poll going, guys. Well, I'm going to have to set up a poll now quickly. Hold on. Let's see if I can set up a poll. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to set up a poll, but I'm going to set up a poll somehow. Mm. Is there a way to set up a poll? Hold on, let me see if I can set up a poll for everyone now. We can actually vote towards this. Uh, it's going way out of hand. Uh, red with black straps. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Uh, dark blue under the hull. 
light blue upper hull, painted black with this jersey on the side. We could always do that. That'd be cool. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can we do? Honestly, guys, I don't know how to set up a poll in chat. I do apologize. Uh, I will figure it out at some stage. Um, we will figure it out at some stage. I do apologize. Jean-Pierre Vista, thank you very much for the sub, man. Much appreciated. Uh, okay, so what are we doing, guys? What's the overall, what's the overall opinion? Black? Okay. Black, what's the other, what's what's the second color we're going for the, on the straps? We need to have something. I don't know how to get a pole set up, so I'm sorry about that. Black and what? Black and, black and orange, black and red. I see a lot of red coming on. A lot of red, a lot of red. Black is too... So, okay, how about this? We'll go dark grey and red. Everyone happy? Spooky guest just sub. Thank you very much for the sub, man. Much appreciated. Okay, I think we know what we're going for then, guys. Okay, black and red. Black and red it is. Okay, let's go. Paint. Place color. Dark gray. Cool. Got that all set up. Cockpit. I think we'll leave cockpit black. Uh, let's go ahead and do some painting. What I'm thinking is custom color. Paint the front and a nice red. <laughs> Orange after bonus. Yeah, we could do. We could also do like a like a purple, you know, like like burnt, burnt flamed metal color. That would be pretty cool. No, we still haven't tested this after we've added all these engines and afterburners, so it's going to be quite interesting to see how how it uh, how it's going to come out. But uh, I think now let's just focus on the painting and let's get that all done. Pretty happy with that. I uh, might just go and add one more block on this here. Actually, you know what? I think rather let's have a straight line just going across like that. I think that looks a little better. Cool. Let's just finish painting the front section. So easy way to do that. We should be able to just do that. Uh, let's see. Plain fill. Yep. There we go. And that's painted now. Fantastic. Now we just need to paint the back. Now, now what are we going to do in the back? Um, like a flame, red engines. Um, 
who who thinks the boat is gonna sink? Ah, uh, lol. Uh, just go on top of the cab. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Uh, might take a little bit of time though. Paint under the bone. Uh, Mrs. Jersey on the side. Red engines. Afterburners. Afterburners. Uh, you they stay black. Unfortunately, um, you can't change them. Um, so you guys wanted a Mr. New Jersey somewhere. Hmm. How about this? Grab our paint blocks just over here. Okay, let's label that. Jump to our paint. And let's see. Okay, let's just paint this all one color. Get that all done. All the same color. Cool. And then let's go ahead and grab our red again. And then let's just make, I'm just going to make a line down the center so we know where the middle is of this block that we're painting. And now let's go ahead and do a nice big NJ here. So three, go up quite a few. I think we need to go one of this here. Cool. Uh, a glowing NJ. Yeah, we could do we could do a glowing NJ. That could be a good idea. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's do a glowing NJ. Let's just uh, first off just do the J. So we've said we've gone two blocks there, so two blocks there, and then we can start doing the J here. Uh, so one, two, three. There. Bring it down. Bring it down to there. That's cross. Bring it across. Go. Cool. Square this off, and we'll make it look a little prettier now. Let's go ahead and just delete all this. Don't need any of that. There we go. Doesn't look Great, but doesn't look bad either, I don't think. Uh, I'll go ahead and we'll just paint this all up quickly. Oh, I don't like that red. That red looks much better. And then what we'll do is just, we'll get actually this all connected up to um, our pumps. So actually, no, we can get this connected up to our pit. So when we turn our pit on, uh, we'll go ahead and actually turn this light on and see how it looks. I think that's going to be a good idea, to be honest. Cool, that's done. Um, call it SSS Demon. <laughs> Add some blue name with SSS Demon NT. Does those articles uh the j needs some help yeah i know the j doesn't look that great um but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna waste time on it uh getting the details of that sorted i'm 
can leave it like that for now. Uh, so we need to just hook it up. Uh, so when we said we turned our key to activate the PID, we're gonna switch these on. Back lights on all these are gonna be turned on. Dunk, 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 dunk. I hate those noises. And then power. Power. Cool. Uh, so I think that's pretty much about it done. Uh, I think we've had everything connected. Yeah, fuel tanks. Uh, temperature. We'll get one temperature reading out of one of these. Cool. Uh, that's all done. Cool. Pretty happy with that. And um, we'll go ahead and spawn it. Electric isn't connected. Yeah, I think I connected the electric. If not, well, I guess we'll soon find out. Um, let's jump into our seat, open our door. Goldwing doors, guys, come on. You have, you have to, you have to love Goldwing doors, come on. And that power coming from the rear, we might need to take a little bit of that weight away, actually. Uh, I'm gonna just delete some of the weight because we are a little bit heavier than we were before. Spawn that in again. What? No, on, no, what? Uh, you could add some of your names on the side. Uh, yeah, I will do probably for um, for some upcoming streams. Like I said, today was my first stream ever uh, doing Stormwork, so I'm still quite new to everything. I want to set up a lot of new features uh, and I'll add a lot more things to the screen itself. Um, but I think today was a good starting point uh, for the stream itself. And it, se it seems like you guys are enjoying it. So, um, you know, thumbs up for that. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, which means I definitely will be doing some more streams. Um, might even do one tomorrow. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much about it. We'll go ahead. We'll test this out. See if we can get everything working. Get our light. Oh, see our lights on. Let's go ahead and just turn on. Dun, dun, dun. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go turn the lights back. Uh, yeah, let's start getting it. Oh, no. I want to turn our fuel pumps on first. Uh, turn that down a bit. Get our starter on. There we go. We've got power. Whoa! Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going quite fast. Uh... We might need a little more weight in the rear. Full throttle. Okay, now that's the speedboat. I can't hear anything. <laughs> I do apologize if I'm screaming. But that's a speedboat, mate. 130, 140. That's what we call a speedboat, guys. Add wings? I don't know, maybe. But it, it seems to be handling pretty good. Um, how's our fuel? Fuel's lasting pretty well, actually, also. Battery's good. Temperature's good. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and kill that. That actually worked really well. That worked well. Pretty happy. Norm's like just skimmed along the surface. Um, okay, guys. <laughs> I hope you, you enjoyed. Whoa, hello. Turn these off. There we go. Whoa. Okay, I think it's done. Uh, <laughs> uh, who wants who wants uh, some waves or tsunami coming out next? But, but let me know in the chat if you want a tsunami or or anything coming through. How to go backwards? Uh, we can't go backwards, unfortunately. Um, you would have to add another engine, actually, to do that. What are we doing? Tsunami, tsunami, yes, yes, yes. Java <laughs> is tsunami, tsunami, yeah. <laughs> tsunami. Okay, fine. We'll do a tsunami. We'll do a tsunami. And then um, 
I don't want to make everyone sad, but I think I'm going to go, after we've done that, I think I'll go ahead and end the stream today. I think I've done, what, two and a half hours already. Uh, need a little bit of break. So we'll go ahead and do the tsunami, and then we'll end the stream after that. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and add in the tsunami. Where is it coming from? Where is it coming? Dum, 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 dum. Anyone see it? I can't see it. Uh, I can't see a tsunami anywhere. Can anyone see a tsunami? Oh, it's there. It's there. Okay, we need to start the engines. Engine started. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. I think we could probably outrun the tsunami, to be honest. Ah! Engine's on fire! Uh oh. Uh. Engine's on fire. We're losing power. I oh, know. I oh, know. I oh, know. That was a complete fail. Ah! Oh, no. I know. I we're now flying in the air. Okay. Uh, I think now would be a good time to to safely open the door and eject. Goodbye, little boat. See you soon. Wish you well. Ah! Dunk, and I'll be dead if I had damage enabled. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. I think we need to try that again. What does everyone think about that? Trying it again when it's not on fire. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Uh, I'll put it on the workshop, I promise, as soon as, as, soon as we finish the stream. Why oh, is Tsunami still here? Hold on. Cancel Tsunami. Go away. Go away. Uh, I don't know why that exploded, to be honest. Um, maybe it was just too hot. <laughs> test your big ship. Oh, yes. Um, okay. I'm not going to test my big ship. I'm going to spawn it and I'll show it to you guys. Um, I might have to load up into normal mode to do that. I can't remember. Um, but I'll definitely show you the big boat. I'll upload this to the workshop before I go. Uh, I'll definitely do that. And we'll, we'll we'll just test this one more time with a tsunami. Why is there still a tsunami here? Uh, I don't think we're going to have enough time to get this. I'm just going to wait for the tsunami to pass and then we'll we'll go ahead and um, spawn the boat back in again. Uh, I'll shoot display with the tsunami. Uh, it's a bit, not a pleb. <laughs> Lul. Uh, yeah, so we'll do that. I'll show you the boat just now, and then we'll go from there. So Tsunami's gone. We'll go ahead and spawn our boat back in. And I'll also upload that to the workshop. Let's just go ahead and jump into... Ah, if I don't keep on falling off it, it would be useful. Cool. In. Close the door. Fuel pumps on. Power on, pit on, throttle, have you with that? Start the engine up. Slowly lows in the water. <laughs> Nicholas, you want a shout out? Okay. I know, but we needed to get it working first before we could actually go and. before we could go and do that. Um, why have some, some of them have gone off? What is happening now? Okay, we need to spawn this back in. It's not happy with me at the moment. Not happening. Electric. Electric, that's why. Hold on. What do you mean electric? You think there's not enough battery charge? It 
me like 2D. What, what do you mean electric? Do you think there's something along with electric at the moment? Uh, I still want to add more weight to the rear. Okay, I'll jump in. I'll try and try and do this again, guys. Sorry, I'm just gonna go ahead and spawn the Cenobian. Power, uh, it's on, fit on, obvious, good, got the engine up, uh, connect to the afterburners, o afterburners I haven't got connected up for this uh, tutorial, or well, this video at least, um, okay, all the engines, the bottom ones don't seem to be on, If you, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, I don't know, it could just be a bug, uh, where is Tsunami, Tsunami's just over there, Set that up. Okay, let's go for it. Let's see if we can. Oh, hold on. Oh, my throttle can go higher. Oh, oh. Ah! Okay. And I'm going to turn the thro throttle down. Okay, we're now, yeah, we're a plane. We're we're officially a plane now. Um, <laughs> so, one thing to note is the this doesn't like doesn't like being um, in the air at all. <laughs> it's way too much power, <laughs> way too much power. Um, yeah, pre yeah, pretty much a rocket now. I'm just gonna go and drop down back to back to planet Earth. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to just take it to the workshop, it's going to take too long. Uh, so guys, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead now and actually just... Where am I? Hello? Oh, uh, Tsunami. That would be make sense why. Oh, we're in there. I'm just going to go ahead and upload this to the workshop now. Um, so, let's go. Jet speedboat. Jet speed boat, uh, sea mm, exploration, I guess. Uh, cool. Jet speed boat, uh, example. Cool. That's now uploaded to the workshop, guys. You can go and check out my workshop. Um, just go and type Miss New Jersey in Steam, you'll be able to find it quite easily. Um, or look for one of my other well known creations and then obviously go to my profile that way. Uh, so that's gone and been uploaded. And as promised, guys, I will just show you off show off quickly the the LSD Bay class that I've been working on for the last I think month. Um, so let's go ahead and spawn that in quickly. Uh, if I can find it. So I'm just gonna go and load up in my mission because obviously it's a multi part ship. Uh, so you have to load up like this. And then I can pretty much show you guys here what it looks like. Uh, so this is it. It's got four, five, what, five, five decks in the, in the main superstructure itself. Uh, two sea two sea wizards on it. Um, I can try and get a little closer. There's two sea wizards on it. One in the front, uh, one in the rear. Uh, as I said, it's quite a few pieces. So one, two, three, um, all quite long. It also has two like barge barge boats that actually get lowered from these connections down. Uh, which is pretty cool. It has the back, which is a complete uh, well deck, so you can sink down and get into it, uh, and then come through the actual whole creation itself. Quite highly detailed, uh, complete fire anti suppression system here. Uh, the top deck is the helipad itself. Um, you have then another two cranes to load things on and off. In here is where you'll have uh, a lifeboat and a couple ribs. Uh, as I said, it's, it has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of features. You have a whole cargo vehicle deck inside here where you can load vehicles. It's going to have a side ramp. So when you go up against the dock, you can load things in that way. Um, underneath it, the propellers at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's just full, fully packed with features. It's all, I've linked it all up. There's a huge engine room, which I'll see if I can get to show you guys what the engine room looks like. 
Uh, I can't. I have to spot. I'm gonna spawn it in. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, and yeah, let's see if we can do that quickly. Uh, test spawn in. I haven't spawned this in for I think two three weeks now, so it might not actually work. Let's just see if it does. Gonna take a little bit of time to load in. Um, There you go, it's gone ahead and spawned in. Um, seems to be floating more or less. Oh, what's it doing? It's leaning a bit. Uh, seems to be kind of okay. It seems to be leaning a bit. As I said, I haven't spawned in for a while, so things might have, things have changed a lot since since then. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll just jump in it. Uh, is it SSI? Um, it's. I don't know if it's going to be part of SSI or not, uh, to be honest. Uh, I haven't discussed that with Donk and, and Magnus and the guys. So you just press this button. This is going to be just to open the well deck itself. I don't know why it's rocking so much. Uh, it might have been one of the updates that have changed that. Uh, so yeah, open up the well deck. Uh, that then brings it in here. This can, at the moment, it's a little bit flooded. I think it's a little bit too down to what I want it to be. I might lift that higher. Um, but you can go ahead and go to the control room. As you can see, it's highly detailed. The whole roof, the whole ship will be like this. Um, but there is a control room just over here that you can go up to. And this actually controls the whole tank system here. So you can go ahead and close the gate. The gate then closes, you can um, drain the tanks, so you can see now they're going to start draining. Yeah, so pretty just a, a cool little little system here um, to control this whole world deck area. And then as I said, you have um, you have the vehicle cargo area at the moment, uh, which is just over there. And then I still need to add a way to get down to the engine room, which I was building the last time I was working on this. And let me see if I can get into the engine room. As you can see, here's the door. I was going to connect it up there. It's an interior. Uh, and then this was the engine room that I was working on at the moment. Uh, it looks like a huge mess. Um, so, yeah, and that's about it. So all that was there. And then I was going to do, like, server racks here in the back uh, with all different, like, controls and, and different outputs and things like that or complete fire suppression system throughout the whole ship uh that i was planning on doing um and yeah and you can just see here underneath underneath this area is where i have the ballast tanks just one there and it wraps around uh so yeah that's pretty much about it uh and then i have obviously my counterweight system that goes throughout the ship and then there was that before advanced mode came along was the system here uh and yeah that's pretty much about it uh i haven't done any of the interior i haven't done any of the bridge or anything like that still needs to be worked on uh but these kind of things take forever to build especially with the amount of detail that i like to put into the systems uh, but yeah you can see we have like our fire extinguishers here which you can go ahead and actually use um but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Um, I hope you guys have have enjoyed the stream. Uh, and I have enjoyed it. As I said, it's my first one. So yeah, look forward to some more that are coming coming out. Uh, 100k blocks. I don't know how many blocks in that in this or going to be in the end of it. Uh, to be honest, as I said, I uh, will go ahead and upload. Oh, I have actually. I've already uploaded that boat up to the workshops. You can go find it there. You just search for the name and you'll find it. Uh, and that's about it, guys. Uh, as I said, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget that like or subscribe button. Uh, and if you want to go ahead and actually go ahead and donate something to me, please go ahead select donates uh well, anything is is always helpful at the end of the day uh and then we'll see you in the next video i guess thank you everyone bye